hear how Shannon first used cannabis for her son Oliver's rare cancer and seizures. After she saw how well it worked, she decided to try it for her autistic son, Joey, and then for her own breast cancer. Baby, because he has ASD, autistic spectrum disorder. He's on the high end of the autistic spectrum. OCD, SPD, ADHD, as well as Tourette syndrome. When he was diagnosed at 18 months, he went from the snuggliest, easy, well-behaved little toddler and literally overnight. One morning he woke up and he was squealing. This, this weird sound and spinning. And I couldn't get him to, to make eye contact with me and I couldn't get him to sit still and he wouldn't eat. And I, I didn't know what was going on with the pediatrician. He, we'd already been doing cannabis in our family for a year and a half with Ollie. So I kind of went to him and like, we, 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 we need to do something. I have scars from him biting me. He has scars from him biting himself. I need to do something. He's head over the tea kettle at school. He's not learning. He's not writing. He's not reading. He's in second grade. He's not doing anything at school other than getting in trouble. We have to do something. And he's like, I agree. I said, I want to put him on cannabis. He said, 100% in agreement. Then we had to figure out, okay, so which way are we going to learn? Are we going to lean more THC? Are we going to lean more CBD? What did we want to do? We tried CBD at first, plain CBD, nothing other than CBD. He does not like the taste. Um, so we slowly added in a little bit of THC at a time. So his body had chance to build a tolerance since so we knew what was going and we did this over the summer. So it, di it didn't happen in the school system at all. When we gave him the cannabis, I honestly wasn't really expecting the dramatic change the way we did with saw with Oliver. But when we, he just kind of chilled out and he sat on the couch and it is a very long, it's like 10 minutes, but for a kid who hadn't sat for five minutes ever, even at night when he go to sleep, he flips and flops and moves and doesn't, he doesn't sleep well, didn't sleep well because he just kept moving. I just sat there and I just kind of held my kid, you know, David came around the corner here. We were on the, our old couch and I said something like, I think he fell asleep. And he whips his phone out and took a picture and he goes, he's not asleep. And it's just, I'm sitting there and Joey's wide awake and I'm holding him. And it's not a hold him like I have to hold him. It's a hold him. I was just snuggling my kid. And that's awesome. Um, our pediatrician helped us get the right concentration. And he started like not being a normal kid, although I don't think any kid is really normal, but being calmer. He still spins, but he doesn't spin all day, every day. He still waffles back and forth on sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, but he's not running in circles. Um, that kind of thing. He started the third grade and the teacher he had had in second grade was visiting him, visiting another, the teacher in the third grade. I didn't realize Joey was in her class and then was blown away at the difference between Joey of second grade and Joey of third grade. By Christmas of the third grade, he was reading at a fifth grade level and retaining it and able to retell the story and using a computer was able to take tests about the story after reading the story and getting 80% higher on these tests. My kid finished the third grade on grade level. He was kindergarten level when he started the third grade. I'm still pretty active and wild with, with it, but not as much as I am without it.
Without it, I'm crazy, like running around the room, like screaming some, like what was that? Screaming some thing that I made up. And you can't stop. Yeah, and I can't stop. I usually like can't stop moving, but as you can see right now, I'm kind of standing still. Sitting. Oh, sitting, sitting still. still. Yeah. So it's made a big, big, drastic, drastic change with me.